Guys, so today we're going to be discussing something interesting, something serious, and something people should be taking on board. Something to think about. Yes. So, um, today we're going to be discussing why people should um, pursue their dreams, why people should empower women and empower men to do things. Yep. Benefits of surrounding yourself with successful people, good friends and good family members, yep. and relationships. Yep. This definitely has something to do with relationships and, you know, the influences in people. Right. Okay, guys. So... Why is it important for us and everybody else, the viewers who are watching, mm -hmm. to surround themselves with people who are successful or, you know, just success in general? Why is it important? Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel like if you surround yourself with, you know, people who are gonna influence you to do the right thing, people who are doing well for themselves, you are most likely going to take something off them and they're gonna take something off you. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's negative influences, you are bound to be influenced by people around you. Do you understand? Yeah. So whether it's negative or positive. Mm -hmm. So surround yourself with successful people so that they motivate you, empower you and inspire you to do great things. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And have creative ideas and and I think that's just mm. I feel like most people don't really have that. It's true. Yeah. Most people don't really think it's necessary. Yeah. And most people, this is where they struggle to cut relationships off or exactly. cut friendships off because they don't know how to pick friends. Yeah. Many people are finding themselves in silly predicaments that they never should have found themselves in because maybe that's not their character. Mm. But because of the people you're hanging around with, what, what do you expect? It's what true. do you expect? It's true. It's even important, like, if you are into business, for example, go out and meet people who are doing business yeah. or, like, around the similar lines. Like, speak to them, hear what their mindset is like. What struggles do they go through? How do they get there? What what challenges did they face? You're going to be going through the same things. Do not think, oh, nah, I don't need that person. <laughs> they're going to think they're better than me. That's I've got true. my own ideas and whatever. Um, if you hang around with four broke people, you're going to be the fifth. This not just broke people, but even lazy people. If you hang around with lazy people, you're gonna be lazy. If you hang around with people who are just like, doing all types of nonsense, you're gonna also participate in that nonsense yeah. type of lifestyle. So if you're easily influenced, if you know yourself that's your weakness, mm. don't hang around with people that are going to be a bad influence on your life. Mm. Hang around positive people like you guys were saying. Yeah. yeah. Not everyone's born to be leaders, I'm mm. sorry. It's the truth. Mm. Some people, it's just in them, they're just followers. Mm -hmm. And some people are born to lead others and they influence people, they just go into a certain environment mm. and everybody just gravitates towards them because they maybe have that character that people think, rah, like, who is this person? Yeah, exactly. I wanna know more about them. Mm -hmm. I wanna hear what they've got to say. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So figure out what kind of person you are and take full advantage. Even if you feel like, I'm not that kind of person that likes to be in the spotlight. I'm not that kind of person who wants to lead people. Uh -huh. Don't follow people for the wrong reasons. True, there's nothing wrong with establishing that I'm okay. I'm not really of that about being, you know, in the limelight, in front of the crowd, you know, speaking and doing speeches. If that's not you, that's okay. But follow people who have direction. Thank you. It's not everybody who you, I'll be my leader. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing drugs. Thank be my be leader. My <laughs> okay, I will follow you. Yeah. No, because no, they'll right. take you down in the gutter. So follow people who are doing smart things. Thank you, amen to that. Um, okay. Don't, well, you just saw that I was gonna say something. Sorry, go on, babe, sorry. If you do that one more time, I'm leaving. <laughs> Someone's getting personal. So many of you Okay, now Miss Alyssa. Ooh. Now you pushed Let's it. Let's go, so you're taking it personal. I'm joking. Oh, now I'm not joking, bitch. <laughs> How do you get out of a toxic relationship or what is a toxic relationship? Remember, toxicness can happen anyway. It doesn't mean you have to be dating that person. It could mm. be just a group friendship oh, yeah. or whatever. So how do you know how to get out of that toxic relationship and how to avoid even being in one? they're very exhausting mm -hmm. when you find yourself in a relationship that's very exhausting it's very one way like it's one-sided so somebody's putting in a hundred percent somebody's putting 25 percent like and you feel like that relationship isn't benefiting you in any way mm -hmm. then you know that this relationship isn't right for me and i feel like some people don't really like the word benefiting because i feel like relationships aren't about you know um relationships when you're when you're in a relationship with someone you are giving something yeah yeah, yeah whether you like it or not you are yeah, giving right. something whether it's your time or your love but or whatever some people give money to maintain relationships yeah. so you are you are <laughs> giving something and if 
if you if you spend your time giving the wrong things and you feel like right I'm the only one that's just giving and I'm not getting anything in return I don't feel like this person is supporting me in my life then that's how you know that actually this relationship I don't need it yeah mm-hmm. I don't need it that's that's you know to I'm exit. better than that yeah it's true yeah. and so many people are afraid to exit why are you afraid because you like to hold on to what you know oh this is what I know this is what I'm comfortable with so I'm safe for him I've known her for 10 years I've, I've known, known him for true. 6 years and yeah she knows everything about me or he knows everything about me or they know everything about me so if I go I'm going to have to start again mm. what's wrong with starting again yeah. do you know what I mean exactly. what's wrong it's with okay me? what's wrong with meeting new people who are going to inspire you and help you think about greater, greater ideas or build you better there is nothing wrong with that I love meeting new people same it's so true. and one thing with toxic relationship guys you need to understand that being in one or forcing to be in one because you want to be friends with these people mm. you're actually destroying your health yeah and I'm not just talking about physical health I'm talking spiritually Mental. mentally yeah. every type every stage of life is gonna you're gonna see things just decreasing like mm. you're gonna see your energy levels are gonna be low mm. you yourself are not gonna be feeling happy within if you're not happy within there's something wrong mm. Make sure you don't just say, oh, I'm going to come out of it or I'm just going to take a break from the relationship. Actually leave it because taking a break and coming back, you're just recycling the same thing, recycling the same energy. There's no point. Leave and find new people. Like Tomano was saying, it's good to meet new people. You, when you meet new people, you get to know more things. Yeah. You people. increase your knowledge about certain things. Exposure. God says, yes. God. God says, my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. Mm-hmm. If you're surrounding yourself with people that don't want to learn and don't have anything to offer, you are slowly putting yourself down, just down, putting on guys, is that re- relationships or friendships can be seasonal. Wow. Mm-hmm. We don't need to say, oh, because I'm friends with this person, they're my best friend for life. Mm-hmm. I know it's nice having that longitudinal friendship, that, yeah. and a friendship that lasts forever. Yeah. Listen, you have a, a friend in Christ. God is your friend forever, but there's certain people in your life that were meant to be there for a specific season yeah. and specific reason for That's you true. to learn or for them to learn. Yeah. Let them go. This goes for girls and guys. Don't force a friendship um, that's expired. I remember like when I made that transition mm-hmm. to go to uni. Yeah. And you know that like, when you're in sixth form or like even back in secondary school, you like you hold on to those friendships. So that's exactly what I was doing. I was holding on to those friendships thinking, okay, so I've got to keep in contact with those people. Make sure I'm messaging them, like messaging them every week so they know I'm thinking about <laughs> wow. them. Wow. You know, so like you, I don't want to just let people go like that and think, oh, we've got problems. So there's an energy there. Yeah. And then obviously over time, like life happens, isn't it? Yeah. Things get in the way before you know it. it Six months have gone past, you haven't spoken. A year has gone past, you haven't spoken. Two years has gone past, you haven't spoken. (laughs) And then it's like, wow, like, wow. We used to be people who used to speak every Every single day. day. And I won't lie, initially, I I was upset. I was like, wow, I've lost a lot of friends. You know, I used to have all these friends. Like, I used to have people. Like, now (laughs) I'm... Where are these people? (laughs) Now I'm in uni, I'm like, I don't have these people anymore. Like, I used to have cool friends. Like, where are they? Mm. Of course, we like each other's pictures on Instagram, but it's not 27. Hey, girl, where you at? So, you know, obviously... As time goes on, you get older, you realize, no, do you know what? Yeah, it's not that they're bad people. You know, you fell, you've fallen out. It's just life gets in the way, and you really, you grow. People yeah, grow, people change. You know, the things that you like are no longer the same. You're on different roads, mm-hmm. different paths, different ambitions, and that's yeah. what it is. Exactly, I agree. It's okay to let go and say, hey, you know, love each other from a distance. Relationships oh. can expire. Yeah. I, I, this is another thing. When you walk away from a relationship, right? You walked away for a very, very valid, valid reason. Even if you walked away when you were angry, you made a conscious and a valid reason to walk away. So now for you to now be texting and say, can we just be friends? It's not gonna work. Mm. It's not gonna work. (laughs) No, seriously guys, it's not gonna work. You walked away, let relationships expire, move forward, find new people, talk to new people, mingle and network. Yeah. It's not every day, let's hold on to the past. Yeah. Cause that means, that says something about you, wanting to always live in the past. Yeah. yeah. Some of us want to live in the future. Yeah. We want to go forward. Yeah. And yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, if you, I don't work understand that. Relationship, just, just let it go. And don't feel bad if that person comes back and you have to remember, God even says, mark those who hurt you. Yeah, it's in the Bible, I'll show you the verse, I'll put it up on the screen let them go if they come back and say oh i'm sorry da, 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 let's be friends that was saying please don't feel bad it's okay to want good for yourself yeah. it's okay to disconnect yourself from people that don't give you positive vibes or don't help you or, or help you grow in any type of way it's okay it's not to buy force do not feel bad i just want to emphasize that because i used to be that type of person yeah, where yeah. i would feel yeah. so so terrible if someone yeah. came back and apologized for whatever and i'm like okay let's be friends again not everyone is meant to be your friend not everyone is meant to be in your life for the rest of your life you know? and also it's vice versa guys if somebody tells you 
listen, you know what? I don't think, you know, this relationship is healthy or oh, this yeah. friendship is healthy. You shouldn't be offended yeah, by that. Yeah, that's true. Because wow, it's true, you know, if you healthy. care about them mm. they, and they're telling you this is not good for them, it's not mm-hmm. easy. Yeah. You should be, it's not easy, <laughs> but you should be happy. You shouldn't be holding them back. Thank you. Yeah. And say, so, that's selfish. You yeah. can't say, oh, no, because I need you. You're my friend. Exactly. So now you're getting married. Mm-hmm. And you're my friend. Now you're leaving me. Yeah. You're leaving us in the single party. Yeah. That's selfish. Yeah. Let her do what she wants to do. Let him do what he wants to do. Mm-hmm. If they need you, they'll come back. It's true. Yeah, and also, I think we said at the beginning as well about identifying um, toxic relationships with guys. You know, I know a lot of guys, I'm not I'm going to speak too much on gangs because I, I don't know much about it, but... If you know that these are the wrong people to be hanging around with, I know we like acceptance, I know we want to fit in, but don't yeah. be that guy that just wants to be there so you can be known. Like I tell my brother this every single day, he's young, he's only 16. Don't just be that person who wants to be in a specific group just to be known by people. Mm. Be your own, you know, be You stand known. out more that way, actually. Exactly, stand what out, do what you know, do what you do best, being happy. Don't follow them guys, or oh, now they're doing gang sign, I must also do gang sign so, so these girls can like me, no, it's okay. Be on your own lane. Set an example for yourself and people around you. Don't. How do people eventually settle in their situation? Okay, it depends, guys. There's a variety of factors. It could be things that you're going through yourself. You feel like I gravitate towards these type of people because they understand me. Yeah. Just because they understand you doesn't mean they're good for you. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Holding on to the good things they've done for you in the past, mm-hmm. and you're feeling like, well, they did this. So if I walk away, I'm gonna look as if I'm ungrateful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah because they feel like that's the only option that they have guys i'm gonna keep on emphasizing this you have a friend in jesus he's not gonna let you down yes. and we all know that not everyone in the world believes in the lord jesus but i want you to know we want you guys to know yeah. that jesus loves you anyway yeah, and he's still gonna have your back and he's always got the best interest for you mm-hmm. but i feel like one of the ways to move forward from whatever situation you're going through is to keep yourself busy yeah that's do something different something that you wouldn't normally do mm-hmm or um, occupy yourself with maybe start a business if that's something that you're into or some people are at a certain age and they feel like well I don't want to go back into education mm. like I'm, I'm, I've outgrown that mm-hmm. that's not for me I don't like reading books maybe it is for you maybe you just haven't tried it and you haven't really put your mind to it yeah. maybe you want to go back to uni I've seen people who are 40, 50 go back to uni mm-hmm. do you know what I mean and, yeah. and now they have found themselves again some people engage themselves with yoga classes dancing classes or and they the keep world. themselves busy yeah or travelling mm-hmm. doing things that you love doing things that you've always wanted to pursue just do something don't just sit there and sob and go oh now my life is boring because that person is not there anymore Mm -hmm. oh i've lost that friendship so now what have i got you've got many things i've lost that business partner how am i going to start again yeah exactly. you can start again you have a vision you have a mind too you know what i mean don't look down on yourself Exactly, and uh, the big one, the big part of it is finding your purpose, finding what God has sent you to do. Exactly. Be in, I've, I've said it before, be in your own lane. Yeah. Know that God has designed you for a specific calling. Yeah. Do what you have to do. Don't follow someone else's dream, follow your own. Yeah. Know who you are as a person, mm-hmm. understand yourself as a yeah. person, and also identify your likes and dislikes. Yeah. Don't put yourself in a situation whereby you're not happy with whatever you're doing. Yeah. Because I actually believe that, I believe that everyone has an anointing. Yeah. So, you, everyone has something, everyone has a gift, mm-hmm. do you get it? Mm-hmm. So, you're not just, you're not on, on earth just to walk. Mm-hmm. Walk the earth. <laughs> exactly, And yeah. walk the life. That's, I don't, I'm sorry, this is my belief, I yeah. don't believe that. Just stop. Just stop it. <laughs> so, when you establish what it is, maybe your life will start to make more sense yes. to you. Mm-hmm. That's what... I kind of feel like you're saying exactly yeah and love yourselves guys thank you this is the this is the moral of the whole thing yeah. loving yourselves. Love yourselves people do not love insul- themselves enough to do what they want to do to actually make that decision no you know what I love myself enough to say I'm not gonna do you anymore mm-hmm. yeah I'm doing me <laughs> yeah. like I'm gonna go and do what I want to do I'm gonna Bye, pursue my dreams Bye. you know even with or without you like yeah. that's it yeah it's okay it's you okay. should love yourself enough to do that it's not selfish it's not evil do not let anybody tell you it is mm-hmm. it's not you do what's best for you. Exactly. We were not ranting. I'm sorry if we kind of seemed like it we were, but we're not. We just kind of feel like people need to just learn to love themselves. So, you know, share this um, video. Make sure you comment. Make sure you like. Yeah, make sure you subscribe. Exactly. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it, though. And I hope you guys are going to take something away from this. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just supposed to be one of those 
motivational empowering videos yeah, <laughs> yeah. so exactly. yeah make sure you we like all it. need some type of empowerment mm. you know some motivation and if you're watching yeah. us you're getting that girl boy yeah. whoever is watching us so yeah thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in our next video bye, bye. bye.